Guess not. All right, cool. All right, let's get through this freaking thing and get to back to a. Uh, I don't know why it takes so long for them to third one. For those boats to fade away. I guess it has to simulate the sinking of an entire boat. The ending of millions of lives. Well, not millions, but probably hundreds of lives. I honestly don't know offhand how many people would be on a boat like that, that size. I'm not really a, not really a naval person. I don't mind ships that much, but... I really learned about average crew sizes, so... Uh, through the long winding cave. Um, later on you get more like fast traveling options, but this through the intro parts of the game are always kind of just a little tedious. Unfortunately. Let's get through this here. See what happens when I go in here. Server. Oh, seems like everyone's fine. So, okay. Let's click save again, just just for fun. Oh, it'll be perfect then, I don't think the quick saves are gonna do us any good. Oh, will you be staying with us tonight? There's an inn. Let's go like proper save there. Um, just because like if it crashes, I think. Yeah, there we go. I don't the once the like if this was to crash again, I think the quick save would get wiped, so. I don't I don't trust it. Ah, oh, okay, good. There's Butcher. I was kind of concerned if that's where I had to go. We have a friend of yours. Who is that? As if you didn't know. He's the Imperial spy you've been supplying with information. Captain, no, I mean, Hawk. I couldn't believe it. You let slip word of the duel at mass and had us ambush the Butcher. No matter how much you hate someone, you can't just betray them like that. What? That's what you did to me. Huh. This is a trap. So they're betraying us by making it look like... Seize the traitor! We'll hide you! Ah. Yep. <laughs> Hoof it. All right. Oh. Yeah. So now we have to pretty much murder our way out of the pirate cove. The weapon. The weapons in this game are very interesting looking. You can see why they're weird little double swords. Like a lot of the stuff doesn't look like it would be a, like a proper weapon. Like it looks like it would just like shatter instantly. That's the fun thing about JRPGs, is their their weaponry is always very strange looking. Alright. Keep going. Oh god, I'm gonna get freaking gang raped here. <laughs> this is not gonna be pleasant. I'm just gonna fight like ten guys before I can get out the door. <sighs> Alright, um, if this gets too tedious, I might speed this up, so we'll see. We'll see how this ends up looking. Um, if you just see a whole bunch of spit up parts of this, I'll just put like a little graphic up saying what, what happened. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to fight 400,000 pirates. It'd be nice if I was actually learning some moves during this whole process, but I don't think that's the case. 
See if we can get a couple more steps towards the door. Oh, I almost got out the door that time. Uh, oh. Yeah, let's well just do that. Let's, uh... Eh. I was gonna have him use, uh... Use his fists, but... There's no real point to that. Oh man, he's using... Why would pirates know magic? Well, I guess... I guess I taught hawk, ma hawk magic, so... I don't know if it's really that uncommon. Alright. That guy's gonna get murdered. They're like punching their own hands with their blades. What is going on here with these two little swords? Oh, they're kind of got like a flat side on one side. Okay. Let's see, can I make it out the door? Come on. Do it! Yes! Alright, now I think the entire town is against me, so I have to really, yep. Once again, I will continue the trend of speeding up if this takes much longer. Just because there's really nothing new to show here. It's all just pirate slaughter. Ooh! What is that? Oh, okay. He, he threw his spear. I'm like, what is throw? Okay, so there's the, uh, it's like a tactical or... I'm not entirely sure which what it means, it but uh, I know it's like the uh, trickery, not trickery, but uh, the more dexterous path and the straight assault path. Okay, this is good, a decent amount of money, I think. All right, I'm gonna try and slam into the menu real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, Hawks had an axe this whole time. All right. Oh. He's actually better from there. Okay. Sure. Oh, jeez. This is gonna get bad quick. Oh, yeah. This weapon does a little bit more damage now. Okay. So apparently since he's got a long-handled weapon, it actually works better from a little bit further back. Let's kind of break free from this pile. Ah, nope. Yeah, I gotta get rid of these two guys closest to me first. Alright, let's let him murder. Actually, hang on. Look at that axe! It's a freaking weird looking axe. Yeah, slightly more damage. What? It didn't kill him? That is shocking to me. Alright. There's that guy down. Is that guy down? So pretty much a hawk, the main reason I always pick hawk is he has that hawk blade move like off the bat and it's uh, probably one of the strongest moves you get for a good while and you can use it with pretty much any bladed weapon. Um, yes, finally broke free. How do I get to my boat? <laughs> I think it's down this way. Um, so it really makes him an effective fighter from the get-go. Uh, sometimes you can just like straight up just recruit him in the game. Uh, I don't remember where he is for other characters. I want to say there's like a desert you can get him in. Um, Alright, now where do I go? I'm fleeing for my life. I guess I just have to get out of this cave. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, about Hawk. He's, he's actually like one of the most powerful fighters 
the baseline in the game. Him and Red. Or Grey, I'm sorry. Red's Saga Frontier. Um, they can pretty much make your team way better if you can recruit them. I think both of them are recruitable by any character as well. So, once I, uh, if I do do another, like, start a new character, I will immediately go find Hawk and recruit him as soon as I possibly can because he is just that good. His, the Rapiers aren't really the best weapons in the game, which is what he mainly uses, but this game's got a lot of customization, so you can really make anyone into whatever you want. I think this is going to turn into a storyline part where... Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, good. I'm going to go to the map and flee for my life. The Coral Sea is like that only, only one of those big areas where you have to kind of look around. Now that I'm actually here, the game's going to be a lot easier to navigate. Take us to Godango! <laughs> Go to the other side of the island. Um, please tell me I don't have to do something in the strait. Please tell me I don't have to do something in the strait. To do something in the strait. Fantastic. Oh, is it just gonna... Oh. Yeah, I remember what happens. Shipwreck happens in the strait. Let me just wash ashore. I don't know if you wash ashore in Gadango or not. Yeah, you do. Okay, cool. We're almost there. Hang in there, lady. Or maybe you actually do sail. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Lady Luck. Rest in peace. <laughs> the Lady Luck is horribly, horribly damaged. I forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> jeez, poor ship. I barely knew thee. So now you're kind of in a Jack sparrow -y kind of uh, condition here where you're a pirate without a ship. Uh, I know. That's always good. That's like some interspecies hate. And that's why they hate you. Um... So Gecklings are the things that Galaha is, the uh, lizard people. There's a couple over here. Um, and each new. Yes. Alright, so here's one of the other. Actually, she's not a character. She's a sister to one of the characters. It's Diana. Alright. So we just rounded out our party. Oh, actually, I think we can have five. Never mind. Um, she's actually the sister to the main main character, Albert. All right. No, not really. I don't have any money. Um, let's, let's see if we can find a map to this place first. I think the map person is over here. Um, that's the problem. Each new place you kind of have to find a map for. You don't automatically get it. Uh, it makes travel kind of tricky. Oh, I think you talked to these guys. <laughs> yeah, little kid. Hang on, let me just uh, tweak this real quick. Hello. Yeah? Give me a map. I forgot that these kids, little helpers, uh, give you maps and stuff. So, uh, we're finally to the uh, actual, like, free roaming part of Captain Hawk's story, so I'm going to leave it here. Uh, for the moment, uh, I might come back and do some more Captain Hawk stuff later. I'm, uh, I'm gonna look up his storyline and see if I can find a good path to go on. Uh, I'm trying to, like, recruit some characters. So, um, till next time, this is Alex from Gamers on the Influence, and, uh, this has been Romancing Saga. Um, at the very least, expect some more videos in this game from, uh, at least showing the intro of Grey. Because Gray's the other character in this game that I really, really like. So, um, I'll probably, they'll probably be up sometime after this video. Uh, 
who knows who knows when i'm gonna update these so i'll see you guys next time bye